Carrie from Flipping Fabulous. Um, we've gotten a lot of questions lately about my dark paint, either black or restoration bronze, or um, my dark brown is um, leaving white marks all over. So what that really is, is probably a mix of, think about like the pigments in metallic paints and a microfiber couch. So when you take your hand across it and you rub it, it leaves it one way. So I think about it like that. So I've, these are, this is a custom dresser and it is painted in a dark brown and it doesn't matter the brand because all of, all of those dark colors are going to be the same. So you can skip brand to brand to brand and it's going to be pretty much the same. You're going to be, you're going to see white residue and really I think it's dead skin if I'm totally honest. So here is the way that I am going to show you a, a super easy way to combat that. So you can wet sand it which is taking um, a damp cloth, lint-free cloth, a shop towel, whatever, and wiping it on there and then using like 800, 400 grit and <clears throat> sanding it. Or you can do it the way I'm going to show you now. So this is Fusion Stain and Finishing Oil and Natural. I've got my gloves on. Um, I've mixed that really well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some on my foam brush and I'm just going to take it and put a nice coat on there. So this is a penetrating oil, but for this purpose, really what it will do is it will keep fingerprints at bay and it'll help it protecting just a little bit. Okay. So you don't need a lot. So the directions on the can will say, leave it, sit. Um, I don't even know. five to five minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes. I don't. Um, for this particular purpose, I'm just going to take a shop towel. And this is just the way I do it. I just fold it into fourths and I just wipe it off. Okay. You want to make sure that your final coat that you wipe off, get all of it off. And then I always fold it over and get a new side to it just do a final wipe off okay so there's not going to be any left on there but it's got a nice sheen and what it does is it'll keep all your fingerprints off once it dries so now this is an oil so it's going to take a while to dry I always say at least eight hours but um, we're in Kansas and sometimes it takes a little bit longer You want to make sure it doesn't get tacky. If it gets tacky, then it started to dry. And then it makes it a little bit harder to wipe off. You also want to make sure that your shop cloth, whatever you're using, is clean and dry. So what I mean by that is I wouldn't want to start wiping off this one with this part. Okay. I want to use the clean side and I could even probably start with this side but I'm a little bit neurotic about it. So I just take it. I usually go all the way around my corners first. Then I've got my clean side for the big part. I'm going to wipe all of that off and then I'm going to find another clean side. Just going to keep folding. And I'm going to go back and forth. So this will keep my fingerprints or my dead skin or whatever it is that's causing fingerprints to stay off of there. I'm going to do one more drawer so you can kind of see. Super easy. Um, we do this a lot on black pieces, um, dark grays, um, you know, anything dark that you're worried about uh, leaving fingerprints. So the stain, stain and finishing oil from Fusion, hands down one of their best products ever. We use this on a lot. So this is probably going to be okay for this one, um, but after this drawer, I'm going to want to get a completely different cloth because I just don't want to push my luck. There's no point. These aren't expensive enough that I need to worry about, you know, cost. 
um, but you do want to throw them away. I mean, they're not going to be reusable. They're oil, so you want to lay them flat to dry. I don't think there's any combustion um, warning with Fusion. I think I've checked that before. So nice and easy. And you can see on there, it's got a nice, those are not streaks, by the way. Those are the grain in the wood that you can see through. It's just a brown color. This is what it looks like a little bit dried. Okay. If you have any questions, make sure you pop them in the comment. Um, we sell all of these products online. Just for the record, this is General Finishes um, Chocolate Brown Milk Paint. Um, it would be the same for anything darker than, I would say, a driftwood gray color. So all of the dark grays, Renegade, Renegade Cinder, um, Basilisk, Basilisk, however you say it, Ash Gray, Coal Black, Jet Black, Lamp Black, all of those. You can do the same thing with hemp oil if you don't want to use stain and finishing oil. Um, it won't be quite as protective, but that's okay. Um, hemp oil would be the same, um, the same method. You just might want to reapply it over time because it's not quite as durable. Um, so any questions, just holler at us. Have a good day.